forsake your sin. We must forsake our sins, the belief that a holy God cannot be known by men of confirmed evil lives is not new to the Christian religion. The Bible says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. There must be an utter committal of the whole life to Christ in faith. This is what it means to believe in Christ. It involves a volitional and emotional attachment to Him, accompanied by a firm purpose to obey Him in all things. This requires that we keep His commandments, carry our cross, and love God and our fellow man. There must be a reckoning of ourselves to have died unto sin and to be alive unto God in Christ Jesus, followed by a throwing open of the entire personality to the inflow of the Holy Spirit. Then we must practice whatever self-discipline is required to walk in the Spirit and trample under our feet the lusts of the flesh. We must boldly repudiate the cheap values of the fallen world and become completely detached in the Spirit from everything that unbelieving men set their hearts upon, allowing ourselves only the simplest enjoyments of nature which God has bestowed alike upon the just and the unjust. We must practice the art of long and loving meditation on the majesty of God. This will take some effort, for the concept of majesty has all but disappeared from the human race. The focal point of man's interest is now himself. Humanism, in its various forms, has displaced theology as the key to understanding of life. God is a person and can be known in increasing degrees of intimate acquaintance as we prepare our hearts for the wonder. It may be necessary for us to alter our former beliefs about God as the glory that gilds the sacred scriptures dawns over our interior lives. As the knowledge of God becomes more wonderful, greater service to our fellow men will become for us imperative. This blessed knowledge is not given to be enjoyed selfishly. The more perfectly we know God, the more we will feel the desire to translate the newfound knowledge into deeds of mercy towards suffering humanity. The God who gave all to us will continue to live all through us as we come to know him better. We must seek purposefully to share our increasing light with the fellow members of the household of God. This we can best do by keeping the majesty of God in full focus in all our public services. There is a glorified man on the right hand of the majesty in heaven, faithfully representing us there. We are left for a season among men. Let us faithfully represent him here.